arrangement of data hey kids in this video we will learn about the collection and arrangement of data with the help of examples sister sister oh what happened today you all came together there is a fair in the neighboring village Will you take us there? Hmm, definitely if you promise me one thing. What promise, sister? That you all will hold each other's hand so that nobody gets lost. Yes, sister. We will not leave each other's hand. Okay, so let's get ready to go to the fair. But before going there, I'll ask some questions. Answer me by raising your hands. Okay, sister. So first of all, let's find out the choice of your swings and games so that it makes easy for us to buy tickets tomorrow. So tell me, who wants to take a ride on the giant wheel? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 Sister, I get scared. It's okay. You can enjoy other rides. Now tell me who wants to take ride on roundabout? 1 two, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Wow. I feel dizziness on it. It's okay. You can enjoy some other games. Now tell me who wants to play pop the balloon. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11. Oh wow. Everyone would like to play this game. Yes, sister. One gets prize on winning this game. Now tell me who wants to play and win with throw the rings. 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8. Sis, what have you made? I have prepared a list of table according to your wishes. This will help me to know how many tickets I have to buy for each game. Can you tell how many total tickets we have to buy? 35. Can you tell which game needs the most number of tickets? Pop the balloon. Right. Now tell me for how many games I have to buy more than 8 tickets? Absolutely correct. So, did you see when I collected the data and arranged it into a tabular form, how easily you have given answers to my questions? Yes, sister. Sister, let's discuss one more example based on data collection and arrangement. Yes, right. We'll also get lead while playing there. So let's collect some data related to foods. So now tell me who all wants to enjoy Gold Cup Day? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Who all wants to eat cotton candy? One, two, three, four, and five. Sister, I have cavities, so I can't eat sweet things. Okay, who all wants to eat samosas? One, two, and three. Who all wants to eat bread pakoras? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Who all wants to eat ice cream? One. 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 Sister what have you made Look this is known as pictograph 
In this with the help of pictures, I have shown the number of kids with the choices of food. By closely looking at this pictograph, tell me which food is highly chosen by the kids. Ice cream. Absolutely right. Now tell me what should we buy more? Samosas or bread pakoras? Bread pakoda. Right. Now tell me how many kids love kolgappas? 7. Very good. So kids, pictograph is also a very good way to represent data in an organized manner. Have you seen how easily and fastly we have answered with the help of these? Yes, sister. Now all of you should go home. We'll meet tomorrow at 11 to go to the fair. So kids, today we have learned about collecting and arranging data in a tabular form or a pictograph. Kids, in this video, we have learned about the collection and arrangement of data with the help of examples.